So you just enter your password here. This. Okay. And you press here. And Yo, this is great. Thank you so That's much. It. It's very wow, it's great. Yeah, touch me. Oh. <laughs> Hello girls, Leo Kav Maga girl. Uh, this video is for you guys that ask me to do this situation when the attacker is on top of me. So you can see now in this video the attacker is a friend, we are talking, everything is okay, explain me stuff in the computer. I don't understand a lot in the computer so he explained me. And in this situation he's feeling very free uh, to do what he wants, trying to touch me and I don't feel comfortable, I'm trying to take a step back from him but he don't care, he do what he want, he's get on me, he trying maybe to kiss me, to touch me in the chest, I don't know what he want, maybe to choke me, to control me. Now this situation can be on a couch, can be on the ground, on, a, on the bed, in your car, it can be in a lot of places, but in this moment he's gonna be on you. So I want you to see how we can deal this situation with a few steps, not with a lot of power. I don't need to be a bodybuilder to do it. I just need to react good and with the Krav Maga techniques to get out of this situation. Okay, so Hagai is coming and he's gonna be on the top of me. He's trying to choke me, to push me into the sofa. And in this moment, he's very, very close to me. This is a very close range. I need to react very fast. So I'm gonna put my legs between us in a guard position. So now I can put a distance from, from him and I can push him. But the first thing I'm gonna do is to use my hands, see how his face is very close to me. I can hit from here, but I'm gonna take my thumbs into his eyes and push him away from me from his eyes, this is a weak point and it is very, very hurting. And then put the pressure on his hip from my legs. I'm gonna straighten my legs, my knees. And in this moment, one leg is gonna stay up on his hip and the other leg is gonna kick. I'm gonna kick to his groin, I'm gonna kick to his face, to his uh, chest. Always kicking, always put the pressure so he will get hurt, he will get off me and he will go back a little bit. Hurting, this is my time to get up. Okay, now in this moment my legs is doing a very important job because they are always keeping a distance from him, they're always pushing him and if my legs is gonna be down, he can get on me very fast and I'm in the worst situation and we don't wanna get it. So we have to put the legs in a guard position on his hips all the time. Now in this moment you can see we're gonna play a game now. He's trying to reach me, trying to touch me. Now you can see that I'm, I don't need a lot of power in this position. I don't need to be very strong to push him away from me. I just straight my legs and bend it again and straight it. Now you can see he's not a small guy, okay? And I'm not pushing him from a lot of power, I don't know what. Now he feel like he's in a roller coaster or something, in a trampoline. <laughs> so we need to remember one important thing that the feet, the toes need to be out and my heel is gonna be in. Now he's feeling the heel on his groin, on his uh, lower belly, okay? And it's, uh, it's, not, it's pushing, it's not nice, but my feet need to be at the side. So if it will be like that and it will stay on me, it can broke my toes, it can broke my feet, okay? So the feet is gonna be at the side, on his hip, and always push. Always give a power out. Let's pass it again, step by step, slowly. So now he's gonna be again on top of me, pushing me away, and this moment is very close. I'm gonna take my legs to his hip and push from his face from his eyes back and take a pressure on him from my legs and then kick, kick a few times, whatever I need, whatever I feel that I need to do in this situation when he's going back a little bit, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna get up to a fighting position to be ready, maybe again to hit him, maybe again to kick him and go to call somebody or get into a room and lock myself there so he will not come to me again. And now we have another option that is with his straight hands. So in this moment, I'm gonna use my two hands to take off his hands from the choke. Now I don't need to take it out of my neck, just 
to take it a little bit down. And in that moment, I'm going to react like we did before. So I'm going to push him from my legs and again kick with my legs into his weak points and always use it as a weapon to kick him, to take it out of me. Thank you, don't touch me, please. Okay, so this is it, girls. You can see you can deal with that, okay? You don't need to be very strong to win him. You just need to be two things. One, to act fast, don't think a lot. And second is to be very aggressive, to hit, to kick. Don't think about nothing, only to save your life, okay? This is it. This is Krav Maga, about to save your life. Don't forget it, okay? So thank you very much for all the people that asked this video. Please ask me more. Please leave here in the comments a video that you want me to show a situation, maybe something that happened to you, to your friend, or maybe something that you want to learn. I'm um, with an open mind for you guys. So please write it here down in the comments. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you very much. Bye.